praise the lord we thank god for giving us one more opportunity to spend time in his word today we are going to turn to judges chapter 17 and 18 here we see religious moral and political decline of the children of god chapter 17 verse 6 we see the reason why it happened in those days we read there was no king in israel but every man did that which was right in his own eyes there was a man of ephraim named micah He had stolen 1100 shekels from his mother. Mother cursed the thief not knowing it was her own son. But son returned it without repenting and this mother changed the curse to blessing her son when she got her money back. And she said she would give the money to the Lord. but what exactly she did was the opposite instead of giving it to the lord god she made graven image with that money here we can clearly understand that she is disconnected from god she says something very religious very spiritual but does exactly the opposite all in the name of the lord What was the reason for this kind of lifestyle? All because there was no king in Israel in those days and everyone did that which was right in their own eyes. We also create our own gods in our lives to make up our own religion. our mistake in our day and culture also is the same people accept whatever they believe is true in their own eyes mike put that idol the graven image which his mother made as a shrine in his house with other gods and he consecrated one of his sons as a priest contrary to god's law according to god's law an ephraim cannot become a priest then when we read through the chapter we see that a levite from bethlehem came and stayed with micah and micah made that levite his priest for the idols Levite agreed and was ordained as the priest. Micah believed he was doing what was right in the sight of God. He ignored the word of God and made his own religion with his own ordained priest. His own man-made religion and man-made priest. Micah believed he was doing the right thing. In verse 13 we read, Micah blessing God then said Micah now I know that the Lord will do me good seeing I have a Levite to my priest when things go well we have a tendency to believe it is from God Micah's mother was happy when she got her money back and blessed the Lord she was happy even more to see that her son was religious and has ordained a priest but in god's sight they all went down spiritually and morally when we read chapter 18 we can see more religious and moral sins the tribe of dan making decisions based on what they had felt or seen good in their own eyes they had no thought of asking god for wisdom we should be asking god 
before making any decisions. But sometimes what happens to some of us is that we become restless and quickly make our own decisions whatever seems good in our own eyes. We don't give any room or place for God. But we all talk about God. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 5 we read having a form of godliness but denying its power. The tribe of Dan went far away from God. They intermarried and assimilated into ungodly life and the tribe of Dan eventually disappeared. They were worshipping their own shrine and they had their own religion. We don't see anything negative happening to Dan at all, all going well. Consequences of sin may not hit us right away. In First Chronicles, we see a list of tribes and all the things given to them. But the tribe of Dan is missing there. They went so far away and became part of ungodly people. They did not follow the Lord. When we read Revelation chapter 7, where 144,000 of people are mentioned, according to their tribe, we don't see the name of the tribe of Dan. Danites disappeared. Galatians chapter 6 verses 7 and 8 we read, Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. We will sow what we reap. If not here, it will be in eternity. Dear my listeners, dear my sisters, may God give us wisdom to seek Him and His will in all our ways and let us acknowledge Him in all our ways. May our Lord bless us with this small devotion from the Word of God. Amen. <laughs>